Every component of the Falltech Apex Pro has been purposely designed to exceed the performance of existing wood pull fall restrict devices, so you're about to see some new and innovative features never seen before on this type of device. And in this video, we will cover each of the components, setup, proper adjustment, how to climb, and how to transfer over obstructions with the Apex Pro. This is the first device equipped with an articulating adjuster that forms to fit any size or shape pole, innovative non-interfering rocker cleats that reduce snagging while increasing stopping performance, a two-finger double locking snap hook that makes connecting and disconnecting fast and effortless, and a feature-packed horizontal rope adjuster made to accommodate a large, easy-to-grab 15mm Technora Kern Mantle rope. All right, let's start by diving into donning and setting up the device. But real quick, I wanna point out that the Apex Pro can also be reconfigured for left-handed users, so consult the user manual for instructions. Begin by connecting the two body belt carabiners to the primary connecting point of your body belt. Ensure that the rope adjuster is lying horizontally with the indicator arrow facing towards the pole. We recommend connecting the triple locking body belt carabiners with the gates opening facing inward. This protects the gates from interfacing with hand lines and other equipment. It also makes it possible for one-handed connecting and disconnecting of the carabiners. To connect the device to a pole, pass the brown strap with the adjuster around the pole and reconnect the snap hook into the adjuster eye. And you're going to want to make sure that the snap hook gate is facing down. To adjust the brown strap, grip the strap handles and pull the outer strap near the adjuster out and around towards the back side of the pole. You can also tighten the device by holding yourself forward with one hand on the outer adjuster strap and shoving the short inside strap forward with your free hand. To loosen the device, grip the brown strap by the handles and pull the release lever back with your thumb. To move away or closer to the pole, you'll be using the rope adjuster. To move closer to the pole, lean forward while pulling the tail end of the rope directly at the pole. Another option is to reach up and grab the rope close to the adjuster with one hand and pull yourself forward while pulling the tail end of the rope directly at the pole. To move further away from the pole, release your body weight tension and depress the release lever with your thumb. Let go of the release lever when you reach your desired location. If you mash the thumb release lever all the way down, it acts as a braking device to help control your descent. You can also grab the rope in front of the adjuster for a more controlled descent. One of the most important game-changing components featured on the Apex Pro are the cleats. There are distinct differences between the cleats on the Apex Pro compared to other fall restrict devices. The Apex Pro cleats are convex to prevent snagging when the device is moving side to side in a horizontal position. The cleats are also flared outward to prevent snagging on the pole when the device is being moved up or down. The pointed tip of the cleats engage the pole and embed themselves into the wood when the device is activated or angled downwards. And the articulating design ensures a cleat is always in direct contact with the pole. Because they are so far forward, the inner rope does not have to be choked tightly across the face of the pole like it does on other devices. So long as both cleats are making contact with the pole, the inner rope is not required to touch the face of the pole. The inner rope will typically be between one to two inches off the face of the pole. This makes climbing less restrictive. When you are ready to climb, connect the device around the pole about waist high. Adjust it so that the cleats are always making contact on both sides of the pole. As the diameter of the pole decreases towards the top, the cleats may need to be adjusted to maintain a proper position. Adjust the rope so that your body is a comfortable distance away from the pole. Approximately two feet away is good for most climbers. Secure the tail end of your rope by using the included proprietary magnet keeper that can be fastened to your body belt or use the rope's loop so it can hang on a traditional plastic breakaway hook. Hold the brown web strap by the handles and raise the strap high on the pole. Using your pole climbers, penetrate the wood with your gaffs and step up on the pole. Now pull your body weight forward while keeping your elbows bent at 90 degrees. Pro tip, staying close to the pole requires less energy and allows for a smoother climb. Keeping your body into the pole, raise the strap as high as possible and step up until the strap is approximately waist high. Without leaning back in the system, raise the strap again. Step up into the strap and repeat. Each climber will develop their own climbing rhythm with time. Pro tip, focus on flipping the strap in longer, smoother strides without shaking the pole. To descend, lower the device to approximately waist level. Remove your highest gaff from the pole. With a straight lock knee, 
Aim at the heart of the pole about one to two feet and drop your weight into the pole. Remove your other gaff from the pole and repeat. For transferring over obstructions, you will need a secondary work positioning lanyard to maintain 100% fall protection. A secondary work positioning rope device is the recommended and most efficient way to meet this requirement. Start by climbing up and positioning the Apex Pro device as close to the bottom of the obstruction as possible. Set up and pass the secondary rope around the pole and over the obstruction, connecting from one body belt D-ring to the other. Be sure you do not allow enough slack to exceed a two-foot freefall in either the fall restrict device or the secondary positioning rope at any point during this transition. Disconnect the fall restrict device from the pole and set up to reconnect it above the obstruction. Pass the device up through the middle of the secondary rope to reduce tangling and reconnect it above the obstruction. Remove the secondary rope and continue your ascent. To transfer under an obstruction, climb down and position the fall restrict device above the obstruction, making sure to leave a little space between your fall restrict device and the obstruction for your secondary rope. Pass the secondary rope around the pole under the Apex Pro and over the obstruction. Disconnect the Apex Pro and pass it down through the middle of the secondary rope again to reduce tangling and reconnect the device back around the pole below the obstruction. Remove the secondary rope and continue your descent. For more information about the Faltec Apex Pro Fall Restrict device, check it out at falltech.com. Let us know what you think about this new innovative device in the comments below. What do you think about the rope adjuster and the articulating adjuster? The straps, the cleats, would this be something you'd want to use? We'd like to hear from you.